Welcome to my Power BI graveyard. I've started way too many Power BI courses and finished only a good handful. And I'm just talking about actual courses. Don't even get me started on all the YouTube tutorials I've abandoned after just a few minutes. But do you wanna hear something insane? Only about 15% of people actually finish online courses that they start, but it actually makes sense. A lot of these courses are intentionally bloated to make you feel like you're getting so much value. But it's not the length of a course that makes it valuable, it's the information. And let's be real. Many Many of them are wasting your time, but not these five. These are ones I actually managed to finish from start to end. Some from big name platforms, others from places you may not have known about or considered. These five Power BI courses will save you months of useless doom scrolling. So let's jump in. But before we really get into it, let me talk about how I'm going to be scoring these courses. Like I mentioned earlier, it's not about the length of the course that makes it good. It's about the value and how effectively it can teach the material. So to grade these courses, I've compiled five criteria checklist to help us as we go along. These are the five categories. The first is organization. Is it organized or does it just jump around too much? Smoothness. How much brain power do I actually need to use? Interface. Does the platform UX UI make me want to chuck my computer out the window or is it nice to use? Practicality. Will I build something real or just watch someone else have all the fun? And finally, bank pain. Am I getting robbed blind or am I scoring a great deal on this course? I also want to mention that I'm not ordering these courses courses in any specific order. We're just going to take them one at a time. So without further ado, let's look at our first course, Microsoft Power BI Desktop for Business Intelligence by Maven Analytics. This is a very comprehensive course and covers a ton of material. They're a very reputable brand. They have their own course platform and over a million learners. But the course we're looking at in particular is their standalone course on Udemy. Let's go ahead and score this course. First, organization. I will say this course is very well organized. This sections are laid out nicely and it tends to stay on topic. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. For smoothness, some of the project walkthroughs could have been made a bit more clear. In some areas, there were times I'd get stuck on something really minor that derailed the project for me a bit and I felt like there could have been a little bit more guidance. You do also have to have Power BI Desktop installed on your computer, which isn't a huge deal since this is a Power BI course, but for those without a PC or a company email, this could provide a bit of a challenge. And as we'll see in some other courses we'll go over, you don't need to have Power BI Desktop installed in your computer. So overall for smoothness, I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. Next is Interface. The course is on Udemy, which has a fairly solid and straightforward interface. Nothing super fancy, but nothing that gets in the way. Overall, I'm giving Interface an 8 out of 10. Next is Practicality. Overall, it's a very practical course. You're creating a project throughout the course, and there's even a bonus project at the end, but each module has you working through some examples and working on the project. So for practicality, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. And finally, Bank Pain. This is an expensive course, $125. Now, Udemy does have sales quite often, but if we're going on base price alone, this is quite expensive. So for Bank Pain, we're giving it a 2 out of 10. That brings the overall score to 33 out of 50. Again, overall, a pretty comprehensive course. It's on a reputable platform, Udemy, by a reputable brand. Maven Analytics could be a little bit more clear in some areas and as a standalone course it's quite expensive. But again it is a good course and one that I recommend. Now for our second course Data Analyst in Power BI by Datacamp who also happen to be sponsoring this video. And now don't think that I've only included Datacamp on this list because they're sponsoring the video. They've been one of my absolute favorite course platforms since long before I started creating videos. I've taken many of their courses throughout the years. They were one of the first course platforms I started learning on and I legitimately think they are amazing and belong on this list. Now, Data Analyst in Power BI is a great course that covers concepts that range from beginner to more advanced in Power BI. And one of my favorite aspects of the course is that they've partnered with Microsoft to ensure this course prepares you for the PL300 exam. If you haven't heard of the PL300, it's Microsoft's Power BI Data Analyst certification and is the most industry recognized certification for Power BI. Not only does this course specifically prepare you for that exam, but you also get a 50% off voucher for the exam after completing the course. I just thought that that was a really cool feature worth mentioning. But let's get to the scoring. First, organization. And this is another highly organized course. It covers a wide range of topics without being exhaustive, but it is on the longer side. There's a lot of instructors within the course, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It could actually be a good thing for some people who like the variety, but the varying teaching styles within the course could be a problem for some people. Again, most people will probably 
probably appreciate this, but it may be too much change for some people. So overall, I'm giving organization an eight out of 10. Next, smoothness. Datacamp is pretty good at making concepts easy to follow. But even if you do happen to get stuck, they provide you with some hints, and this ensures you don't get stuck for hours on something small and keeps the momentum going. Also, you don't have to have Power BI installed as they have their own Windows engine that runs Power BI within their platform. This is huge for people who may not have convenient access to Power BI, people that have a Mac or people that don't have some sort of company login that they can use to download Power BI desktop and get into Power BI service. So for these reasons, I'm giving smoothness a 10 out of 10. Next is interface. I've always been a fan of how Datacamp interfaces all the tools on their platform, like I mentioned in the last category, but beyond that, it genuinely just has nice UX UI. So for interface, I'm giving a nine out of 10. Next is practicality, and it is incredibly practical. You're working in Power BI in almost every lesson, creating multiple projects through case studies, even answering quizzes along the way and doing plenty of exercises. So for practicality, a 10 out of 10. And the next is bank pain. So Datacamp has incredibly reasonable pricing. Their monthly subscription is less than the price of some standalone courses, and that gives you access to their entire library beyond just Power BI. So for bank pain, I'm giving it an eight out of 10. So the overall score for data analysts and Power BI by Datacamp is 45 out of 50. Next, let's move on to our third course, the Microsoft Learn Pathway for the PL300 from Microsoft. Now this is Microsoft's proprietary course on the Microsoft Learning Platform, which is completely free to help you prepare for the PL300 exam. It's mainly a text-based course, which some people may not appreciate. There are practical portions. There's even like a bootcamp app within the Microsoft Learn platform, similar to Datacamp, though you're not in it as much, but the instruction is largely written as opposed to video. But it does a good job of covering core concepts and teaching things that directly relate to the PL300. I took this course after years of working in Power BI and still learned a few things, as well as things that came up in the exam for me. There is an instructor-led version of this course, but I don't think it's necessary for most people. So let's move on to the scoring. First, organization. It's a decently organized course, a little long in some areas. As mentioned, they cover very core topics and even concepts that are fundamental to data analysis as a whole. Overall, I'm giving organization a six out of 10. Next, smoothness. So it is a fairly straightforward and smooth course, easy to follow for the most part. So I'm scoring it a seven out of 10. Next, the interface. The interface is nice once you're in the course, but finding it and navigating to it can be the tough part. The Microsoft Learn platform is pretty vast. And if I'm being honest, it's not really arranged very well. So you wanna be sure to bookmark the course so you don't lose it. So interface, five out of 10. Next is practicality. So it's not the most practical course. Again, there are some practical portions, but it's mainly conceptual. With that said, the content is good. But overall practicality, three out of 10. In bank pain, again, this is a free course. So it makes sense why it's not super interactive. But for something that costs nothing, it's pretty good value. And again, it prepares you for the PL300. So for bank pain, 10 out of 10. That brings our total score to 31 out of 50. Now let's move on to our fourth course, Power BI for Data Analysts, Full Course for Beginners by Luke Barros. So Luke is amazing. And if you haven't checked out his videos before, you definitely should. This course is actually right here on YouTube and offers pretty incredible value. So let's talk about the scoring. First, organization. The course is laid out section by section in a very intuitive way as you build a project throughout the course. This course is on the shorter side, being only eight hours, but delivers well on what it covers. Some may want more, but again, this covers the essentials very well. I'm giving organization an eight out of 10. Next, smoothness. So it is very smooth as you're literally following Luke step by step for the entire course. With that said, you are navigating chapters as opposed to like modules on a course platform. So overall smoothness, I'm giving an eight out of 10. So now interface. So while the course is laid out very well, it is YouTube. So you don't have actual modules or an actual course interface, like I mentioned. You're just navigating between video chapters. So this can make returning to specific concepts a bit more challenging. You'll also need to have Power BI Desktop installed on your computer to complete the course. So for interface, I'm giving a three out of 10. So next, practicality, and it's a highly practical course as the entire course has you working through a project and going through examples with every concept. So practicality, 10 out of 10. And then finally, bank pain. So it's on YouTube, so it's free, 10 out of 10. That brings the total score to 39 out of 50. So now for our fifth and final course of the video, Power BI Fundamentals by Datacamp. And this is another great course from Datacamp on Power BI. This one focuses more on essentials and fundamentals, whereas the first one we covered was more comprehensive and almost three times 
the length of this course, which clocks in at 17 hours of material for this course. Now for the scoring. So first organization. So this one is six modules and covers the essentials you need to know for Power BI. My one critique would be that data modeling and data preparation come before data visualization in the course. But other than that, it's an amazing course. Organization, I'm giving eight out of 10. Next is smoothness. So this course is lighter and tighter than some of the other ones we covered today and very smooth. And again, you don't need to have Power BI Desktop installed to take the course. So for smoothness, I'm giving a nine out of 10. For the interface, we already covered that. Datacamp has an awesome interface, nine out of 10. And now practicality. So while you are working through examples throughout the course, you don't actually walk away with a project like some of the other courses we covered. But despite that, you're still using lots of Power BI in the course. I'm giving practicality a seven out of 10. So lastly is bank pain. We covered that in the previous course by Datacamp we covered. So again, I'm giving that an eight out of 10. That brings the total score for this course to 42 out of 50. And there you have it, five of the best Power BI courses around and my rankings for each one. Do you agree with the scoring I gave today? Is there anything you think that I missed? If so, let me know in the comments. But even the best course won't help you if you don't have the complete package. You need three things to get a job in data, a good resume, a strong portfolio of your work, and the ability to answer technical questions confidently. To get the third out of the way, watch my earlier video on Power BI interview questions. It'll help you prepare for a Power BI interview and actually have a chance at getting hired. Also, both of the Datacamp courses that I mentioned are linked below in the description. Again, I always recommend them whether they're sponsoring a video or not. So if you're in the market for a solid Power BI course, you should definitely check them out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.